Hey everyone, it's me again, Kiana, and let's do another trip to Barnes & Noble. Open the door for me, be a Carries George, mm -hmm. yes. Dr. Seuss, yes. Uh, the Secret Garden, I support it. Where are my childhood books at, though? I like Peter Rabbit. Oh, Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so I'm back. Went to Barnes and Noble and didn't do as much damage because I got my boyfriend to buy me one, but I still got a bag. I think I have. Three books, four books, three books, and a, I know about books and a fungal pot. So, I got Cinderella because I slowly want to buy all the princesses. I have just Ariel. She is the only princess I have besides like Alice, and I have Belle, but I don't have Belle in like this edition. So, Cinderella, I do not keep her in the box. So, sorry for you guys who do, but I don't. And then I bought the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of I Kiss Shara Wheeler by Casey McKenna. She is a auto buy author for me. I have bought and read Red, White, and Wild Blue along with um, Muna Stop. So this one is about a girl named Chloe Green and she is so close to winning. She spent the last four, um, four years since her mom moved her from Southern California to Alabama for her high school doggy gossipy classmates and the typical administration of willow grave christi christian academy the goal that kept her going winning valedictorian her only rival prom king uh Shara wheeler the principal's perfect progeny but a month before uh, graduation Shara kissed chloe and vanishes um on a furious hunt for answer chloe discovers she's not the only one Shara kiss there's also smith Shara's long-time quarterback sweetheart and worry Shara's bad boy neighbor with a crush the three have nothing in common except Shara and the annoyingly cryptic note she left behind, but together they must untangle Shara's trail of clues to find her, and it'll be worth it if Chloe can drag Shara back for graduation and beat her fair and square, thrown into an unlikely alliance, chasing a ghost through parties, break-ins, puzzles, and secret reveals on monogram stationery. 
Chloe starts to suspect there might be more to this small town than she thought and maybe probably but maybe more to share too so yeah I think the exclusive edition is literally just a cover because I know it's like green so it's so pretty I'm so excited to have this that's what the back looks like okay and then okay yeah so I only bought like three books my boyfriend bought me that one and I bought isn't it romantic by Lisa K Adams this is the fourth book so far in the romance book club the first one being romance book club second being undercover romance third that I'm currently reading crazy stupid romance this one is gonna follow the Russian um and I can't wait because I love him and he's my favorite so yes excited about that don't read it I can't read it if I don't want to spoil it and then I saw this and I got intrigued to it so they have a table that's called the book talk table I think I showed it and this is called hook a never after novel by Emily Mc McIntyre once upon a time there's a little boy his belly full of laughter his life full of joy and so one day something changed strip his innocent way the hole inside making space for the devil to come and play his dreams gone forever he grew up way too fast an endless night of crocodiles and watches made of glass he grew into a villain the taste of vengeance on his tongue Craig to make his enemies pay for the misdeeds they had done instead he found a darling girl and refused to let her go for what better way to make the man pay than to steal his little shadow um it's only like 326 pages so yeah so yeah that was my little Barnes and Hobble vlog um it was very last minute so it's not like how I did the first one but yeah this is episode two hopefully episode number three will come quicker bye guys